Have you ever worked on a SketchUp file that became slower with the more detail you added to it? And suddenly SketchUp becomes slow to respond, it crashes, and even simple tasks take longer than they should. So in this video, I'll share with you five tips that you can use to fix your SketchUp model. Let's get started. So if this is how your model is looking like, the first thing you want to do is change your style because sometimes your SketchUp style is optimized to show too much information. For example, in this case, you can see the edges, the profiles applied to your entire model. You can see shadows and this can make it really difficult to move around because SketchUp is working a little too hard to display all of this information. So what you can do is go to styles, and here you have different examples to choose from. And you should be mostly interested on the ones with the little clock icon on the bottom right, because it's optimized for faster modeling. Typically, I always like to pick shaded with textures because this allows me to see all the textures in my model. So I'm going to pick this style. And to make a few more adjustments, we'll go to edit, disable dashes and edges. So your model should be moving faster at this point, but it's safe to say we like a little bit of outline on our model. So we're going to select profile and we're going to decrease that size to one. So this is looking better and should perform a little better like this. The next thing you want to do is get rid of your shadows because it can also cause SketchUp to work a little too hard. So you want to go to shadows and disable your shadow settings. So what you're left with is a SketchUp style that shows your textures, that has a profile outline around your model, and is optimized for faster modeling. Now the next thing you want to do is just inspect your 3D model because sometimes there could be hidden geometries that you can't see. You wanna to go to view and check hidden geometry as well as hidden objects and just do a little quick inspections. You wanna look around in your viewport as well as also outside of your model to see that there are no extra models hidden in here because they can cause a little bit more problems. Thing you can do is go to edit and hide all. So you can hide all the objects in your model and then click zoom extent to fit the entire model in your viewport. So here you can see that I had an extra box that I couldn't see earlier. And now I can delete this, select zoom extent again, and now I have just this portion of my model. Now, after doing a little bit of an inspection, the next thing you always want to do regularly is to purge your model of unused groups and components. So you want to go to Windows, Model Info, go to Statistics, and here you can purge your model and fix any problems. So it's always a good idea to purge. As you can see, it got rid of a couple materials and also fix the problems. And as you can see, it gives me a little message that says no problems found. So click OK and save your model. And just purging the file, we went from 129 megabytes all the way to 388. So we're off to a good start. If your SketchUp file is still slow, it may be due to the high quality of the components in your model. So what we can do next is use an extension like Skimp to simplify some of the quality components in our model that could be very high in the file size, for example, this entire set could be easily simplified to improve the performance of our SketchUp file. So you could do this by one by one, or you can make an entire selection like I've done so. And you go over to the second icon on Skimp, which is the Simplify Selection Tool. Now, just for the sake of an example, you can see that this is still pretty good. But if we extended this all the way up, it's about 1.4 million faces, which is quite a lot. That is not what we want to do. We want to bring this down enough and preserve as much detail as possible. So I think this is good. That's 255,000 faces. 
So 191. I think this is fair. I don't want to take it down too much. So after you've adjusted how much to simplify, you can click replace and it's going to generate the simplified components. Once it's finished, we are asked to purge the unused components to reduce the file size and you want to say yes. And once it's finished purging, now we have our new components. So our model definitely feels lighter as far as zooming in and out. And if we check the quality of the components, it's still pretty intact. So that's a good sign that it did a good job simplifying these components. So now I'm going to save and check on our file size. So after that adjustment, we've dropped our model to 207 megabytes. And as you can see, the model still looks pretty good. It's performing fine as well. And this is something very important to keep in mind as you work on your projects that the higher the file size, the more issues you'll start to run in SketchUp. So I went on ahead and reduced the size of a couple of more components in my scene that were pretty heavy in file size. For example, I reduced the size of this or item as well as the cups and a few other things and this proof you can see that the file is now 180 megabytes so for the last tip i'm going to show you a quick workflow with skimp on how you can import high quality models and keep your project at optimal performance so we're going to add this this chandelier onto our model as you can see it is around 25 megabytes in size so we're going to download this so let's download. As you can see, the OBJ file is around 25, 26 megabytes. And the great thing about Skimp is that it can import a number of different formats. So for this exercise, I've opened a new SketchUp file and I'm going to import my model. So we're going to import the OBJ file. And again, before we bring it into our model, we have the simplify tool to help reduce the size of this model. So I'm going to take the slider and bring this down a bit. And you could probably bring this more to there. So now it's at around 118. So let's import this. Once it's in, we could probably do some editing to the materials the way we wanted to, but I'm going to save this quickly. So after saving, the SketchUp file ended up being 7.52 megabytes, which is pretty good. From here, we can change the materials and import it back to our main model. So those are some of the tips you can use to manage your SketchUp file. So it's optimal for performance. It can run faster, display faster, and you can have high quality models without losing performance with the help of Skimp. So that's gonna be all for this video. Hopefully you found a lot of value in these tips to fix models that are underperforming. And hopefully an extension like Skimp can be part of your workflow. As always, leave a comment and let us know which one was your favorite tip and check us out on other social media platforms. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video.